Hey, welcome on in, guys. Tobin here with you. And thanks for checking out the channel. If you guys could subscribe, that'd be great. Appreciate you stopping by. So a pretty cool video was going on. I love this stuff. I love when there's cool training videos that go uh, into the uh, to the basketball landscape. So Terry Rozier, uh, on his trainer's account, he, uh, he was doing a little boxing, doing a little mitt hitting in the Miami Heat weight room. And I thought it was a pretty cool look from Terry getting in there and uh, doing some uh, doing some mitt work. And it's interesting because, you know, Terry, this was interesting with him mentioning pretty recently, like he's been ramping up his cardio. He's almost cleared for five on five. But also one of the things that Terry mentioned, now I don't know if he's done this in the past. Remember, this is the first season we've had Terry here, so this could be something he's doing regularly the, the, to keep in shape. So it uh, would be interesting. If, if I get a chance to interview him at Media Day, I will definitely ask him about that. By the way, I love the Scary Terry shirt that's going on here. But he did mention that he had to do different methods of cardio, you know, to keep himself into shape. It's a tremendous way, you know, for, for you to keep in shape. You don't have to run. Not necessarily, you know, he doesn't have to, like, bob the, the neck like crazy. It's not like he's in there sparring. Um, you know, other than a, a couple of drills slipping and things like that, he should be okay as far as like, oh, there's, he's going to actually uh, do the Mike Tyson where actually I think I've seen, you've seen him do some resistance work of the Mike Tyson where he's, you know, putting the neck up and down. But, um, I thought it was pretty cool. I love seeing Terry Rozier hit the mitts. This, uh, you know, I think brought back memories of Tyler Hero when he was young, his second year hitting the mitts. Uh, a lot of these guys do it. Duncan Robinson has gone to the, uh, the gym. My boy, uh, um, Aaron Aponte and the, uh, the boys down there in, in Hialeah, he's gone to their gym before to work out with James Johnson. James Johnson was cool with Harold Calderon, who's a local, uh, boxing sensation down here in Miami and has, uh, gone and worked out with King Calderon, went to his gym. Duncan Robinson came along. Uh, I believe Philly cheese went there one time as well. There was a, uh, there was a time, there was one time where LeBron and D Wade hit mitts at a gym. And, uh, and they were doing that. But I, I think Terry Rozier, you're finding different ways to keep him, him, himself in shape while he is working his way back from this neck injury. Pretty cool. I enjoyed watching this video uh, from Terry and, and checking out the work that he is putting in as we grow closer to heat camp. Um, there was a, a quote that was circulating heat Twitter today. Uh, and this has to do with Terry Rozier's backcourt mate, uh, Tyler Hero. And it was an interview that... that uh, it was an interview that Udonis Haslam did with Forbes, uh, Matt Issa, who has gotten a couple of good interviews. Who else did he interview Tyler? I think Matt's the only guy to get Tyler this summer, to my knowledge. So when reading this, and you know, Udonis doing some fantastic work with, uh, I guess, Wells Fargo to help people in the community. So go check out Matt's article on this. But he went out and said, we just have to stay healthy. Uh, this is what it reads in the article in 2023, 24, uh, first season that Haslam wasn't in uniform. The heat season ended a lot sooner than fans had grown accustomed to, but Haslam attributes that to injuries. Pinpointing health is a major key. We just have to stay healthy. We have a young superstar in Tyler hero, six man of the year and an automatic 20 points off the bench. Nikola Jovic has another year under his belt after getting thrown into the fire last year because of injuries. But you know what they say, experience is the best teacher. You also have Jaime Jaquez, who is returning with a ton of experience after having a hell of a rookie year. Haywood Highsmith is going to step up into a more prominent role. Obviously, we're led by Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo. We get Terry Rozier back. Duncan Robinson is going to be healthy. And at the end of the day, I think health is huge for us. And uh, let's not forget, we have La Spostra Nostra, best coach in the league. So... When you talk about the Eastern Conference, it has gotten better. However, I don't think anybody understands what a Miami Heat team healthy is capable of, but we'll show them. Let's go back to the start of the quote, right? So I think he, in the aggregators, is like, it kind of just looks like he's definitely saying Tyler Hero should be sixth man of the year. I think that, look, Udonis Haslam has made it known his opinion on this. This is one of the things that, that Pat Riley kind of reprimanded him for. Where he's like, hey, he's going to be great in this media job. He does a great job in the podcast. But he has to remember he works for the Heat. Um, but he has made it known um, not only that he felt Tyler Hero uh, was best off the bench and that Duncan Robinson should be starting, 
But he also revealed on Stephen A on his podcast with Stephen A. Smith that Tyler Hero didn't take that well, that he was hurt by those comments, that he did not like that Udonis Haslam was putting out in the ether that he should go back to the bench, that he should take a step back. And look, it's going to be interesting because if it's true that roles are really up for grabs outside of Bam and Jimmy starting lineup, what Eric Spolstra is going to do, um, I do think there's going to be a, an element of the heat where, I, first of all, I think there's less drama coming into this year. So I think everybody does come in with a much easier head. But I do think that the Heat are going to kind of hit this camp full on with confrontation and and letting you know, this is going to be your role. This is what we expect. You're upset with your contract. You're upset with your role. Who cares? We got bounced in the first year, uh, in the first round last year. You guys weren't available. Kick rocks. Like, you know, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like this is, this is the way that it's going to be. You know, it's not anything he hasn't made known before and hasn't put out there in the public atmosphere before UD has let it be known what he thinks and has told Tyler and doesn't feel like uh, this is, you know, it doesn't feel like it's necessarily a shot at him. And, and I think that the big thing that's been missing, it's such a thing back and forth with this. And I, and I, I just think that the heat, you know, ultimately there, there is going to come a level where they do want to avoid some headaches that are avoidable. And I do think that this is one where, you know, I almost wonder if they start, if they put Terry as a six man, then it would be Tyler just because uh, politically on the, on the team, it would be less headaches, but maybe the Heat are sick of that too. You know, that could be a part of it. You know, politically, I guess you could say if you were going to move a a Terry Tyler to the bench, maybe Terry is less of a uh, political headache just because he's newer here. And honestly, probably would, you know, he's been in that role before he's thrived in that role before does it feel like because he's so happy being on the heat that he would whine about it as much or would it be as much of a public, you know, uh, there wouldn't be as much public bristling at it, you know? But when I read the quote from uh, from UD, I was like, yeah, on, the, on Twitter that kind of read like he was definitely saying he should be sixth man of the year when you read it quick. Then when I'm like reading, I'm like, is he just putting accolades out there? But we do know his true feelings. I mean, that's the the fair thing about it is if you're going off what we know UD has said as as recently as May, uh, he has put this into the ether. So this is, it's not like anything new is there. And we've talked a, a lot about roles in these last videos as we're getting closer and closer to camp about what person is going to be where, where's the best spot for everybody, how is everybody going to fall in line. I do think it's important, you know, we've talked on this platform a lot that some of the heat got to kind of figure out a true hierarchy instead of like the spread the wealth thing like who are their dudes who is going to do you know are there going to be is there going to be more of a distinction of who's going to carry things on a certain night especially in the regular season and I don't think there is a more talented scorer on the team than Tyler um you know if we're talking about guys who could like truly hit 25 points a game like we we talked about uh, one of my bold predictions, I was like, they're going to have their first, and I did this video weeks ago, I was like, they're going to have their first 25-point score since LeBron. The only guy I really think is truly capable of it with attitude and with shot diet is Tyler. He's got to have probably a hell of a season shooting the basketball, like probably his best, and he's already had some really great years, and there's got to be some kind of an uptick at the, at, at the free throws, but I do think he's capable of it. Bam... I think Bam could be capable of it too, but I just think mindset, how he keeps everything together, I don't think that he's going to go in that direction. So some interesting stuff with the uh, the Heat backcourt out there, but uh, interesting, you know, that this is kind of brought up again, yet again by Udonis Haslam. I do think the Heat are going to come at this thing less coddly, but it doesn't mean there's no coddling. Just because there's less doesn't mean there's not going to be any. Uh, Because you have to be real about it. Like, you know, we can say all uh, hard feelings, don't play this guy, blah, blah, blah. Come on. You know, Tyler's not going to be like put in exodus like Hassan Whiteside or Dion or James John. It's not going to get to that point. Let's not be silly. You know, they don't think of him like that. They think of him as a hard worker, one of their more talented players. They're not going to do that. And any, any thoughts of otherwise, like I just think are silly. I think they're wasted energy. 
by fans. I think they're wasted energy by pundits. I think they're wasted energy by heat Twitter because it's just not going to happen. It's not logical and it doesn't make sense. So, but UD puts this, uh, wh- however you read it, UD does have this back in the atmosphere and uh, wonder if there will be any public uh, bucking from it. And when Tyler Hero does get to camp and is asked about role and all that type of stuff, where he'll be at with all that. 